So yesterday, after I filmed my Swiss Army knife video, I hurt my finger kind of bad. I uh, was shaving in the bathroom at my in-laws house, and I was kind of cleaning up the, all the whiskers that were kind of around, on the, around the sink area, and they have a really old sink. And I was brushing some of the hairs off to try to get them like that, and I was kind of doing it really, a little fast. And what I ended up doing was I ended up scraping my finger on, there must have been some kind of torn piece of porcelain on their sink or some kind of metal, and I totally ripped the crap out of my finger. Uh, and I got a bunch of uh, porcelain stuck inside of it. And I uh, immediately, as, <laughs> after I did it, you know, it was bleeding all over the place. And I called out to my wife. I said, uh, you know, hey, get me the first aid kit in my EDC bag. <laughs> this is my first injury uh, that's in semi-relation to my YouTube channel. So she was able to go into my EDC backpack and quickly grab my first aid kit. And I put some Neosporin on it and a Band-Aid and had some gauze and kind of soaked up, so, soaked up the blood a little bit. So uh, that was kind of handy to be able to get that so quickly. So I'm gonna, I have a couple of videos. I had to go, I went to urgent care and they took some x-rays and I'll show a quick picture of the x-ray. So if you're, if you're looking right now, you can see on the tip of my finger there was a piece of, a shard of some kind of metal or porcelain and it, it looks really small but it really hurt and I need my hands for my uh, career. So. I had to end up going to an orthopedic surgeon and he uh, did some uh, further x-rays and was able to kind of figure out where it was and sliced me open a little bit and um, you know started taking out these shards. There's multiple shards of this, this uh, sink that kind of broke off into my finger. And a lot of you guys know me mostly by my hands since I don't really talk in front of the camera with my, with my face. So most of the time you just see my hands. So I was hoping to do a different video today, but I don't know if I really want to do it with a you know, bandaged up finger. So luckily I have, a, I have a video that I've kind of been storing for backup for emergency purposes that's just been kind of sitting in private on my channel. So I'll probably end up releasing that one later. Uh, so anyway, the ortho orthopedic surgeon you know, kind of sliced me open and while he was doing this, he really wanted me to not look because I was there taking videos and taking pictures for, you know, quickly thinking, oh, this would be a good YouTube video. So he, on a couple occasions, he wanted me not to look because he said that recently he had a guy that, you know, wanted to look while his wife was getting something done on her hand and he was, you know, acted like he was a real big tough guy and he started watching a little bit and immediately he just, you know, fainted, boom, and he uh, hit his, knocked his four front teeth out on the counter. So now he doesn't want guys looking at that kind of stuff. So uh, I guess that's a lesson learned. So uh, here's, I have another uh, x-ray here and it shows a photo of the doctor had to, there was one additional piece that was in there and he had to stick a needle all the way through to kind of use as a marker to, so he could kind of see where it was at because they're very small shards of this uh, porcelain and uh, so this photo here that you see the x-ray is a, uh, you'll see the the needle and then right next to the the needle close to the tip of the, close to the skin is another shard that he's trying to get out. That one's probably going to come out naturally kind of like a sliver does. So I learned a few things on this. One, it is good to have a first aid kit handy wherever you're at. Uh, and then two, it's good to have something that's really bright like this. In my EDC backpack, all I really have is, uh, you know, black gear except for my first aid kit. And my wife was quickly able to grab this. So not all the times I might be able to, I might not be the one that's going to go get the first aid kit. She's, she, in this case, she was going to. So for my bob, it's making me kind of rethink the color that I chose for my first aid. You know, it's, it's black. It has a little bit of red, but I think I want to make this a little bit, stand out a little bit more. So I'm thinking of getting some Velcro or something to make it so you just cannot miss that this is a first aid uh, pack. So uh, lesson learned on that. Uh, another lesson is, uh, you know, no matter how tough you are, you know, you might fate when you see something real gory. So if this was in any kind of emergency situation, like if I was bugging out and I hurt, injured myself, you know, yeah, yeah, gore, you know, no matter how uh, prepared you think you are, you probably aren't that much. So uh, and you might get grossed out. So, and another thing I learned is that yeah, I'd be really screwed if I, uh, without a doctor, <laughs> having a doctor handy, because I, I tried flushing this out with water, and uh, those pieces were just way too deep in there for me to get, so I, needed, I really, needed, really needed a specialist. So, man, if there ever was a time that I had to use my bug out bag or an emergency situation, and I had some kind of major uh, injury, this isn't that major, but it's, it's the biggest injury I've had since having my channel. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I'd be kind of, you know, a tough place without a doctor. So it's kind of making me think that I need to have a different, uh, an extra tourniquet in here that's mainly for my finger because, or for smaller appendages, because I have one for my arm. And, uh, but the doctor, when he was kind of slicing me open, he, uh, 
you know, used one and wrapped it around my finger as he was taking all the stuff out and he was flushing and uh, so uh, so I guess at the end of it, you know, it kind of sucked that I, you know, kind of damaged my finger. So I'm going to be bandaged up for a couple days. I'm hoping that I'll, it'll be off by the weekend, but we'll see. And he, uh, for, for the pain, he made a contribution to my bob, and I got some Vicodin out of it. So he gave me, geez, I don't know why he gave me so many. He gave me 50 500 milligram Vicodin pills. So uh, I haven't taken any of them. I'm kind of sucking it up right now. It's th definitely throbbing though. Uh, but it's going to be going into the bobs. So. <laughs> Uh, he made a nice Bob contribution to me, so I'll probably keep those into these pills because that's kind of a lot of Vicodin to be carrying around not inside the bottle. So I do have a prescription for this, so I covered it up from you guys. But <laughs> uh, So that's this video. Just want to give you a quick channel update. I also want to give a quick shout out. I've been watching a, a channel I've been kind of enjoying. It's the EDC channel, and I'll put a little annotation. I'll put it right here. And... Uh, he's been doing a couple EDC videos that have, I, I've really enjoyed. They're color-coordinated EDC. So he has a brown one, he has a green one, a uh, black one, and I've been really enjoying it. I've never really seen color-coordinated EDC items. So, you know, all his wallet and his flashlight and his knife, they're all green on, this, on his green EDC. And then he has brown ones, and it, it's kind of cool. So if you get a chance, go check them out. Uh, Check out some of those videos. I've been really liking them. So the EDC channel, that's my shout out for today. And uh, I'm going to be managed up for a couple days. Uh, but it's all, all that stuff is basically out of there now. Uh, it was something I wasn't able to do. So I had a specialist do it. So uh, I have a video in reserve just for occasions like this. So I'll post that up later this week. So I just want to give you that quick channel update and the shout out. Make sure you check out the EDC channel. And I'll talk to you guys later.